Peace be to you. Whew, this is Omar Abdumalik, physician assistant and health educator. It is 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm here with my favorite running partner, aka my middle son. And he's preparing for his first marathon, and I'm preparing for my 18th. Um, so I, I've talked to communicate with some of you guys on uh, various um, social media, Instagram and and uh, Facebook, of course YouTube. Oh man, it's all dark. Um, and you you've told me about uh, your your um, concerns about not getting into um, PA school. Um, wait to that. I just tell you to fig try to figure out what it is you've got to do. At the end of the proverbial day, only you, knew, you, only you know exactly what it is you need to do in order to get in um, and get the grades necessary. Um, some of you all have less than, um, or you've got kind of subpar averages. I don't mean to offend you, but you know, if you have under a 3.0, it's tough to get in, get in. Not impossible, but you need to figure out, okay, am I going to apply this cycle or do I need to wait another semester? Or even like I did, you know, I waited another year before I applied to med school. Didn't get to med school, but I got into PA school. This was 20 years ago. But, um, you know, you just got to, you know, try to figure out where where you're where you're strong and where you're not so strong so like this running that we're doing um we're just trying to build our our endurance base back up i've been doing this for a while for several years now but you know my son's new at it so just building up that endurance base to the point where you can get you can run for two to three hours and not feel tired it's about an hour 20 minutes now we're dead <laughs> but I, I have a a pre a a pre PA program that I've developed now um, and I'll I'm setting up a website so I think it'll be very beneficial for those of you all who are trying to get into PA school uh, it'll I'll help you with your personal statement that's a very part important part of applying um, your um, your interview process if you're granted an inter interview that can make or break <laughs> you know one thing one wrong word or one wrong attitude can make or break your interview so that's important and then i hope to show people at least introduce them to um some of the classes that you would have in the didactic and then your um clinical rotations but i'm very excited about it so stay tuned um, I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Uh, keep up the good work you're doing. Be disciplined, steadfast, consistent. God bless you all. Take care.